I want to talk about the state of Facebook advertising. And you probably saw my, my quote, my, what do you call it, my headline, which is obviously clickbait. Facebook ads are dead. The party's over. I think this is the fifth time I've made such a video. And yet, I keep advertising on Facebook. And my coaching students and mastermind Econvance students keep getting results with Facebook ads. So, obviously, I don't think the party is over. I've got a weird take on this that's going to surprise a lot of people, okay? And this is going to, I think this video is going to shock a lot of people. Okay. All right, so, let me give an example. This is an example from, from a few years ago. Facebook came up with this old, this new style targeting we can create catalog sales right and you could create a feed and they called dynamic retargeting someone recently joined my mastermind and econ vantage course slash coaching and, and we've worked it out we worked it out but they were complaining to me about some of the videos in, in the course being old and the reason why I don't change them is because they're working and by the way I don't recommend CBO all for testing CBO for testing is a joke CBOs to work well need high bet, big budgets, at least $100 or more. So, yeah, you should only use CBO for testing. All right, so I know I'm, this is kind of a rant, so I want to give some value to it at the same time here. And I want to talk about something really important here. Okay, so if you're not getting results with Facebook ads, it comes down to basically one thing. Okay, your advertising method has a little bit to do with it especially for scaling for high profitability, right? For scaling for high profitability, your advertising method matters. But if you're not making sales at all, if you are in a no sales or very limited sales world, it comes down to one thing and one thing only. Because you could use a very basic advertising strategy. You could use very basic targeting. And if you have this right, you will make sales. It comes down to your offer. I have the same expression that I've been using. A dirty beer expression, I don't want to say what it is. I've been selling that thing for almost six years on different brand products, so. That's, a, that's the beauty of this game. It's, it's hard to find a winning product idea, but once you have it, you can run it for a long, 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 long time. It's your offer. If you're not making any sales at, offer, at all, you don't have a good offer. I'm just feeling passionate about some recent developments that happened I, I, I alluded to in this video. So what's the solution? The solution is to focus on products, creation. And the worst, absolute worst strategy you could follow is what most people are doing out there and what's being taught by some people, not all people. I see some cool coaches and gurus out there doing things differently, that's awesome. I absolutely despise going to Etsy and looking at the best sellers, going to AliExpress and looking at the best sellers, going to Amazon and looking at the best sellers, using spy software and looking for the best sellers. There's a serious fundamental problem here with that. Okay, and that's the thing. Here's the thing. That's absolutely the easiest thing for people to do. It's absolutely the easiest thing for people to do. And that means thousands of people are doing that every day. So you are following the masses to the slaughterhouse. You know what happens to the, to the lamb when they follow the herder? They end up in the slaughterhouse and they get slaughtered. And I don't want that to happen to you. You should focus on creating original ideas, okay? So I'm gonna give away two original ideas, right? Methods, right, of finding original ideas right now in this video. How does it free charge? And guys, these work. I, I've had students, and even myself, I've used these methods for, to make thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of sales. I mean, these are literally six figure, if not seven figure ideas. Of course, by the way, another thing, any coach or trainer or guru course that guarantees results is fucking land you. I can't do that. I, and I won't do that. Because I'm not a liar. I'm not gonna bullshit you and guarantee success, guys. Here's the reality, it's a business. You can do all the right things and still fail. You can buy a McDonald's franchise for a million dollars today. They're gonna to provide you the, the products, the training methods for your staff, the marketing, 
advise you on location, and guess what? McDonald's franchises fail all the time. That's the reality. So if you're gonna go in the business, there's a risk, period. Even if you do it right. Okay, that's it. Here we go, two methods. Let's start with Chuck Shoot. And I'm gonna do something I've never done before on this particular video. I've never revealed this publicly. This is something that's only been shared in my course in Mastermind and Private Coaching Student. I call it the Thesaurus Method. Okay. Guys, I spent a lot of time in China. Do you know how bad Chinese English is? It's horrible. Especially if you get out of the cities. In, 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 the, in, the, in the cities like Shanghai and Beijing and Guangzhou, right? Yes, you get a lot of good English speakers. But in, in, in the countryside, where a lot of the, the factories are that are producing your, your products for dropshipping, these gadgets and things you're selling for dropshipping, shirts or whatever, they don't speak English at all. They may have a person on staff that speaks English. I, I've worked with dropshippers a lot in the past. I can tell you that English is not good. You get the rare gem, but in general it's not good. So they're using Google Translate to come up with their ideas for products. So they're, sorry, their titles, their, their product titles, okay? And they're uploading their Google Translation to AliExpress. And so they use all sorts of bizarre words that don't fit with what we use. So let's just say you're looking for a necklace. I would go in the thesaurus and say, let's use photography. Photography, I would go look in the thesaurus and search necklace and see what other keywords come up, what other suggestions. And then go into AliExpress and search photography, crochet. I know, I know that one off the top, there's a few other ones, right? Search every one of those, and you're gonna find some rare gems that no one even noticed. And they didn't notice it, not because it's a good product, because it didn't have the right title. There's hidden gold in AliExpress. You just gotta know how to search for it. All right, number two, print on the man. For this, you're gonna need to open up two Google Windows, okay? Um, sorry, yeah, Google tabs, sorry, two Google tabs. You're gonna open the images, Google images in both, okay? And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna, let's just say you're in the fishing niche. You're gonna search in any niche but fishing. You don't wanna regurgitate the same shit that everyone else is on. Just like using the spice I was going to everyone's searching Google images. If you're, in the, if you're in the fishing niche, the most thing, natural thing to do, the most natural thing to do in being taught and done is funny fishing t-shirts. Oh, that looks funny. Oh, I'll try that, I'll try that, I'll try that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. It's been done over and 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 You're following the masses to the slaughterhouse. Don't do that. I don't want you to do that. Instead, do something different. Go in and search a different niche. And um, for an example, we'll just use dog niche, okay? So go in and search a funny dog t-shirt. Now what you're gonna wanna do, and by the way, it doesn't have to be sold on a t-shirt. It can be sold on a coffee mug, it can be sold on a hat, it can be sold on a pillow, it can be sold on all sorts of products, but you're looking for good expressions, okay? You just need the expression first. You need a good slogan or product idea first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, because you can put it on many prototypes. You can put it on super many prototypes. So you just need a good, solid, Expression first. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to say, look at the dog shirts or dog coffee mugs. Those are both good ways to search. And you're trying to transform them to a fishing niche idea. Now I'm gonna give you an absolutely horrible suggestion for prototype. But this is a great example of what you're trying to achieve, okay? so. In the fishing niche, sorry, in the dog niche, you're gonna find a, a very common shirt that's been done many, many times over, as I'm not saying doing, do this, but it says, dogs make me happy, you not so much. And you're gonna to wanna to change that expression to fishing makes me happy, you not so much. Now, clearly, that's cookie cutter, it's too easy, it's not one that I would use at all. Uh, I don't think you should use that, but it does, provide you with the idea of what you're trying to achieve. 
Now you want to go for something more harder and more more complex, and you want to do something better than that. It's been done over and over again. But I'm making a very simple example to illustrate what you want to do. Okay. Step two. You just don't want to go with your, whatever phrase you found, whatever phrase you come up with. You just want to assume this original because it might not be. So now I told you to open up two Google tabs, both the Google Images. Go into the second Google tab, right? And then go in there and I call this cross-referencing. So go in there and type in, fishing makes me happy, using our bad example. It's a bad example, but again, this is illustrative purpose only. Fishing make me, makes me happy, you not so much, t-shirt. Fishing makes me happy, you not so much, mug. And if you see several of them, Google Images only pulls so many from so many sites, right? That means there's probably 100 times more out there. That's a bad idea. If you see one or two, maybe three, three is starting to even get to the borderline here. Remember, right, Google Images only pulls a small segment. That means there's probably hundreds out there. Hundred, you, can, you can probably 100x. So if you see one, that means it's been done 100 times. If you see two, it's been done 200 times. If you see three, you've done 300 times. So if I, I need to only give for one and maybe two, I'll give it a try. And the reason why I still give it a try if it's that low numbers is because 99% of people don't know how to fucking market at all. They're bad marketers. So I'm not so worried about that. But if I see like three, four, five, six, seven examples, in Google Images, I'm out on that. That's not, that's not an original idea. It's not, not, it's not, well, it's not unique, okay, original because that's been done before, but it's not a unique enough idea that it's worth testing. Okay. Guys, if you're not getting results with Facebook ads, it's not your advertising. It's your product creation. Period, period, period. And I will argue till I'm blue in the face with anyone who says so because, guys, I'm using a lot of old school methods. And I'm teaching those old school methods. Guys, right now, I just had a student do $110,000 in sales in three weeks for Valentine's Day. And I, I'm looking for the final numbers, but including paying their staff to the help, right? It's, not, it's, about, it's around $20,000 to $30,000 in profit. Okay? I'm going to post the exact number here. I have other students, another student right, who's doing three to $5,000 a day in sales daily using these methods. And I've got another student doing dropshipping. He's not as doing as great, but he's doing about 500,000, right? Yeah. And I don't have a lot of private coaching, to be honest with you. A little bit. Coaching sales are a bit tough in the COVID time. So that's just the way it is. But anyway, the point is they're getting results. And, and a lot of what I teach to do, there is some modern twists and there's some modern new stuff, but I've been using a lot of the same methods for a long time because what I do is evergreen. I'm not going to teach you a short-term loophole that's going to be dead tomorrow. I won't do that. I won't do that to you. In fact, I'm fucking proud that my stuff works over and over and over again for years. If this is my private coaching, private message me. Okay? Private message me. Cool. We'll talk about that. If this is my course of mastermind, go to ecomvantage.com, V-A-N-T-A-G.com. So if you're interested, private message me or go to my course my, uh, sales page and buy that course of mastermind. And we'll see you on the inside. Cheers, my friends.